Over the last couple of years of collecting video games, I've developed a method of storing them that I think is very unorthodox, very unique, but also very effective and aesthetically pleasing. So today, I want to tell you the three pillars of my unofficial organization system. So if there's anything helpful that you guys want to implement, you can do so as well. The first one is variation. You'll notice that all of these four shelves, which contain the whole of my Switch collection, all look very different. You can see I've got the like stacks on the bottom here with a few titles I'm fond of on top. Here we've got the games opened and stacked front facing on top of one another with a couple little side stacks. Here we've got a more minimalistic approach of some of the games that I wanted to highlight more, just all front facing and standard. And then here we've got a different form of the stacks also with kind of some line coming up into the center with the uh, Holy Trinity up there. And what that does is just creates a lot of visual intrigue. What I found is a lot of people will just have the sort of standard, like I'll, I'll show you guys over here, um, more or less what I've done with my PlayStation collection, except minus these top ones. They'll pretty much have, for maximum utility, their whole collection of games facing with the uh, spines out so that you can read what is on there, but you can't necessarily see the art. I think a lot of people, one thing that a lot of folks do is they'll try to find some sort of storage method, <laughs> method that does allow for you to see the artwork of the games. And I think going one step farther and varying up the way that the games themselves are oriented goes a long way. Tactic number two is categorical organization. You'll notice that the games that I have up here are not at all alphabetical. I know that that is something that is a time-honored tradition for a lot of collectors. A lot of people in the comments will get on me about not having my games alphabetically organized. But I would say that while your collection is small to mid-size, it definitely, I much prefer categorically organized games. And I'll walk you through what I've done here. I started off the top shelf uh, with the Switch icons. This is like some of the most famous and iconic games of all time on the Switch platform. And they're all native to the Switch as well with the Holy Trinity here in the middle. Don't, don't at me about Mario Kart. It just, it's not as good as Smash, full stop. Next here, I've got a few choice games and uh, this little custom bad boy here, which you guys may or may not know about yet, that more on that coming later, um, of my favorite indie titles that I've put a lot of hours into and really enjoy. Coming down here, we've got all of my like limited edition games from various publishers. You can see Limited Run, you can see Super Rare there, there's a couple Strictly Limited. Um, and I just thought that was kind of a fun grouping, and if I have a specific game in mind that I know I want to play, Scott Pilgrim. I know exactly what shelf it's going to be on and really don't have to look that far, especially since I do have the artwork facing out. And it's honestly, I would say, faster than alphabetical, having to scan a shelf of purely these, like, samey, uh, like, monotone, similar uh, font kind of spines for the exact letter. Uh, and then this last shelf here, I've just reserved for miscellaneous and put whatever games didn't fit into those other categories down there. That would be the only time that maybe I'd have a little trouble finding something like, hey, why isn't Pokemon Snap up there on the top shelf with Scarlet necessarily? The reality is I have 60 games right now and it's just not that big of an issue. Later on down the line, maybe one day I'll have 200 and it will become a big issue. So uh, as much as possible, categorical organization is key. Then the last tactic is what I like to call games framing games, which you can see on three out of the four shelves here right now. I fortunately am at the point in my collection where I can't just display everything front facing. I can't see the cover art of every single game. So what I do as the collection grows is I start to use the games that I do have that I'm not as concerned about displaying front facing that I might not play as much as foundations, right, or highlight points for the rest of the games that I am displaying that way. So I really like how it turned out on this shelf. The angling here kind of frames this whole setup. I need to, Scott Pilgrim's not really behaving there, is he? Um, 
it kind of, it frames this whole shelf really well, especially with the double layering and the different angles that I have going on there. I really like how that worked out. And again, I'll try to vary it up between each one, how I execute that. I've done sort of like a podium setup before that I think works well. This one is just sort of uh, like a single layer top shelf. Uh, and then down here, I have sort of like a scattered podium effect that I just wanted to use to uh, keep all of these games rather than like just storing them away in like a drawer down here. Keep them out and keep them visible and accessible and even use them to accentuate the games that I do want to display the most in my collection. 